Welcome to Soy Anastasia, and today we're going to be making a Christmas stocking or a holiday sock, whichever one you prefer. Our supply list for this project is so incredibly simple. You are going to need your rotary cutter and your handy dandy thread snips and only one other thing really. We are going to need matching thread. My fabrics I'm using are primarily red and cream. Most importantly, you're going to need your Anastasia stocking pattern. So I have a three-piece stocking pattern that I've designed, and until the end of December, you can get it on Patreon. All you need to do is subscribe, and it will be magically emailed to you. And you can find that Patreon link below in the description, so click on it. For the body of my stocking, I'm going to use a buffalo plaid flannel, and I love buffalo plaid flannel. And for the top of my stocking, I'm going to be using a beautiful feminine golden brocade. And I'm pairing these two fabrics together because I love the juxtaposition of something very feminine and glittery along with something a little more masculine and harder. Great juxtaposition. So you're asking yourself, how much fabric do I buy for this stocking? I'm going to suggest you get about a half of a yard for the body of your stocking. And this one for me is the buffalo plaid. And then for the contrasting pieces, I grabbed a scrap that I had because this is a great project to use up those little scrap pieces. So this is gonna be the contrast on the top of the stocking and then the little loop so that we can hang our stocking. Now it's time to lay out your pattern and cut out the fabric. So let's go ahead and make sure that our pattern is on the grain line. There isn't enough of my fabric to go parallel with the grain line, so I'm going to turn my pattern and just make sure that it's perpendicular to the salvage. So that way our pattern is cut out straight and it's not gonna end up crooked. If you are using a plaid, make sure you double check that your plaid is laid out straight, otherwise your stocking might look a little funky. So go ahead and place your pattern weights on it. Make sure it's not going to move anywhere and get your handy dandy rotary cutter and let's go ahead and cut it out. And this pattern is cut too, so I have my fabric laid out twice on top of each other. So let's go ahead and remove our excess fabric and we should have our stocking now. Remove your pattern and voila, there we are. There's our buffalo plaid stocking. So now you're gonna grab the pattern for the top of your stocking and lay it out on your contrasting fabric. And again, this one is cut too, so make sure you have two layers of fabric. Now we're gonna start cutting. And there we go. Now we should have our two pieces for the top of our stocking. If anything got caught, you can go ahead and use your snips and just unclip it. And let's see. There we go. Yay! Let's lay out the loop next, and this is cut one, so just one layer of fabric. Okay, let's cut the loop out. Again, our weight is bigger than this little pattern piece. So when you think you're going to get close to it, go ahead and move it so it's out of the way and finish the other two sides. And there we go, there's our loop. Loop. Now that we have all of our pattern pieces cut out, we are going to head over to the serger and start sewing. Okay, so grab the contrasting top of the stocking and go ahead and put your two pieces of fabric right sides together and we're going to serge down the sides. Now if you don't have a serger, no worries. You could just straight stitch this or you could use your overcast stitch on your straight stitch machine. And if you don't have that stitch, you could go ahead and zigzag all your edges first and then sew it together with us. Let's start sewing! Let's 
So now that you have surged both of the right and the left side of this contrast piece, I want you to go ahead and open up the opening that's a little bit bigger. And if you don't know which one it is, fold it over and you can see which one's a little bigger. So the bigger opening is going to be the bottom part of the contrast. And I wanna go ahead and clean up this edge. So again, if you don't have a serger, feel free to zigzag it or overcast it. Perfect. So now you should have one raw edge and one finished edge. And your finished edge is the one that's a little wider. So grab your loop and put right sides together and we are going to serge them together on the long side. Okay, and we are going to end up with this skinny little tube. Now you wanna go ahead and grab your contrasting thread and switch out your serger. Now that you've switched your contrast thread for your stocking, let's go ahead and grab both layers of the stocking and we're gonna place them on top of each other and we're going to serge them together. And remember, never put pins in your serger. So let's go ahead, put it under and serge it up. Now that we have everything surged, let's go ahead and set up our straight stitch machine and let's sew this stocking together. Grab your loop tube and we're gonna go ahead and stitch up a half inch right next to the serge line. Now that we've put our permanent stitch right next to the serge, you want to grab a safety pin and we're gonna turn this tube right sides out. So take your safety pin, open it up, and you want to put it through one layer of the fabric. Close it back up, maybe, okay. And you wanna take the head of the safety pin and put it into the tube. So push it into the tube, and then keep feeding it with your fingers. And keep pushing it, and then you'll be able to pull it off the end and then just keep pushing your safety pin till it comes out the other end and then you want to pull the fabric down it. Sometimes it can get a little tight depending on how thick your fabric is but then you should have a tube that is right side out and then you can go ahead and take your safety pin off. And there we go. Next, we're gonna take the top contrast of our stocking and we're gonna stitch half inch right next to the serge on the right and the left sides. So go ahead, put it under your machine. Don't forget, we're stitching at a half inch cause, well, that's what I made my pattern seam allowance at. Perfect. So now that we have our seam allowances sewn on the right and the left side, I want you to go back to this edge that we had surged on the bottom. And we are gonna flip it up a quarter of an inch and stitch it down. So here you can take off the back of your sewing machine. So this way we can sew in a circle easier. So go ahead, slip your fabric around. You can see now it'll be in a circle. So pick your spot that you wanna start and flip it up about a quarter of an inch. Go ahead and put it under the foot and let's start sewing in a circle. Okay, now turn it right sides out and you can see we have a finished edge on our contrasting piece. So why am I having you stitch next to the serge if we've already serged some things together? So the serge is just to finish the edge so it doesn't fray and straight stitch is to keep it permanently in place. 
So go ahead and let's stitch half inch right next to our serge. Perfection, we did it. Now we need to put the pieces together, but first we are going to go over to the iron and iron them. Now that we're at the ironing table, let's go ahead and turn our pieces right side out. Make sure all three pieces are right side out, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure all of our seams are nice and pressed out on the edges. So roll them out to the sides, give it a good press. Let's do this all the way around the stocking. And let's take our little loop and we want to press that flat as well. Now let's take the contrast band for the top of the stocking and iron those edges flat as well. This one's a little bit difficult because of the heavy brocade. Perfect, now let's go back over to our sewing machine. Now that we have all three pieces ironed, we have one last step and that's sewing the pieces together at the top. Now we're gonna move back to the straight stitch machine. You're gonna grab the top contrasting part of your stocking and we are going to just insert it with the right side out. So you're gonna end up with the right side of your contrast facing the wrong side of the inside of your stocking. I know, completely unorthodox, but I swear it'll turn out great. And once you're lining up over here at the side seams, I want you to take your loop. Take your loop and line it up right in between them. We're gonna sandwich it all together. So you're gonna have the outside of your stocking, your loop, and then your contrasting piece. Now let's go ahead and pin this up so it does not move. So let's make sure all these three layers are together. You really wanna make sure that your loop is in the right spot. It's kinda of hard to go through all these layers, but do as best as you can, and just keep moving in a circle and pinning it down. And then also remember that our seam allowance here is going to be a half inch because my seam allowance on this entire pattern is a half inch. Perfect, let's move back onto the machine and let's go ahead and take off the back of it again so that way we can sew in a circle. And that way we can slip our stocking on, perfect. Line it up with a half inch on your machine and let's go ahead and sew over that bulky part first. Okay, we're back at our beginning thread, and let's go ahead and take it out and turn it over. Okay, so this doesn't quite look like our stocking, right? What's going on? Where's our contrast? So go ahead and flip it out and over. And now you can see the contrast and our loop. So we're gonna go back over to the iron and we're just gonna iron down the top of our stocking, but our stocking is done. We did it, we finished our stocking. So cool, I love it. I can't wait to see what kind of fun prints you use for your stockings. So be sure to tag me in them at So Anastasia. Remember, if you want this specific pattern, it'll be available on my Patreon until the end of December, and then after that, you can get it on SoeAnastasia.com. So when you sign up for Patreon, make a donation, and it'll automatically be emailed to you. Thank you so much for watching Soe Anastasia today. If you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, click on that subscribe button so you can check out all of our other awesome videos, and make sure you check out Instagram, because I post everything I'm doing in the studio every day, watch the Insta story, and check out all the behind the scenes. Also, if you didn't know, you can visit AnastasiaChatsa.com, check out my collections, and you can purchase an Anastasia dress. How cool! Thanks so much for watching today. Bye!